So why are some soil sampling lines, when viewed on a map, straight as an arrow, and others look like worm trail? Well, the answer is pretty simple actually. Back in the olden days, I'm talking sort of pre-GPS days of say 1990, maybe even into the early, to, uh, sorry, into the early 1990s, Nineties. The um, soil sampling was done by line and reckoning. So what it basically meant that the person would go out to a particular point, take a sighting with their compass, say they want to go due east, and then they would um, take a sighting with their compass, and then they would um, just start walking due east. Three, they would have a hip chain attached to their the belt which basically fed out a string and every so many meters whatever you had set beforehand let's say 50 meters or so the thing would make a funny noise and you would know that's the time to take a sample you stop at that point pick up your sample and continue to move on that's all nice and dandy but how, how many of you can walk in a perfectly straight line for hundreds of meters if not kilometers without deviating from that line. I know I can't because there's always bushes, trees, creeks, fences, breakaways, everything in the way and you sort of either have to walk around them, climb over them, detour around things and so you don't get much of a chance to do a straight line. So what it means is those points that are on that line are just best guess. They're not accurate. The wiggly worm type lines as I call them basically are where people have been taking samples with a GPS system and um, those GPS's are recording their actual trail. So those are more likely to be the accurate position. When you're looking at the soil samples you now know which ones are accurate and which ones are not. I hope this helps. If it does I'd love you if you can give me a comment or a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye.